Good morning everyone, as you can see we're doing some back-to-back -back videos, both of these are going to come out today because I'm not going to schedule them, I need to get caught up anyway, but we're doing the This Week in Hitting Dice video for July 5th. It's been a relatively busy week, if you just watch my player journal from the D&D campaign that I'm playing in, you'll get the basis of it already. But since last week, uh, Jill was actually off. Um, she worked Sunday, so I didn't really get anything done then, looking after Evie. Uh, but then she was off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I did some extra overtime at work to get stuff done. Um, I managed to go and play D&D &D on Tuesday. We've been to the zoo. Um, lots of fun stuff. What else have I played? So we'll D&D, &D, check out the player journal. That's the other video that came out today. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. I'm not going into too much details on that. But uh, Conrad Klosterheim and his journey to uh, Knightsbridge and then um, the wilds in the east of the kingdom should be uh, progressing nicely. And what else? I played um, played on stream last night. We did uh, uh, Dinosaur Island. That's the name. I, I can not think of the word dinosaur for some reason. Dinosaur Island. I've got the Extreme Edition from the second Kickstarter they did. So we, I managed to get that on the table. I've not played it before. I was really excited because I, I love, uh, love the aesthetic of it. It's really bright and colourful. feels very like early 90s. And then it's got dinosaurs in it, so it's cool. Obviously, it leans heavily on Jurassic Park and all of that. Uh, but I like the tongue-in-cheek nature of it. Uh, it's really good fun. The game played pretty well. Um, it's on the Sentry Boxes Facebook page, who are our sponsors these videos so go and check that out um yeah that's it i did play a game of x-wing as well i took uh, the um resistance list out where i've been playing four and three a wings had to change it around slightly so i was using the updated points and i don't have a resistance transport yet which is what i want to put in the list and uh, i got its first loss so um i just couldn't get damage through i was playing against two Kuraxes, it was Victor Hell, Graz the Hunter, uh, the Star Viper Dalen, I want to say, that can rotate, and then L3. Uh, I pulled him into trying to fight Paul, swung around with two of the A-Wings, took out L3 really quickly. Tally came in on the other flank, trying to get that bullseye arc on people to buff up my defences. And I was, I was suffering a little bit of chip damage. No one was dead. I'd taken out L3. But Graz had a shield upgrade and hull upgrade. And so it was relatively expensive. And I had him in, in a kill box. I, w I went to put in my all four ships shot at him. And I did like three damage or something. Maybe not even that. And I just could, it took me like four turns of shooting to kill Graz. And uh, the other one. The other Kurax was Victor, so if I shoot at him, he's got stealth device, so I need to hit him to turn the stealth device off so that I can actually not get stressed when I shoot him, uh, which was, um, it was annoying, I, I couldn't get hit. I was rolling um, focus blank, or I, I just get in uh, blank blank focus when I've got a target lock, so re-roll him into blank blank focus, it just felt really weird. Um, it's been a while since I, I've felt that. I, I'm not. I'm not going to blame the dice for a loss. Like, they definitely could have helped me win. I, I hung my. I hung Paul out to take damage to run away, and that all worked. He he survived. He took. He lost all of his shields, um, but got out. Regened his shields. Got really good position to come back into a fight, but. Even on the passes, I just couldn't get the damage through. It felt really, uh, really strange. Um, but it's still, still a good game. Well, was a pretty competent, solid player. Um, talking about his list, he wanted to like, advice on it, and I'm, I'm, it beat what I think was one of my more competitive lists with it. I definitely don't think it will hang with, uh, with some of the big stuff. Um, three initiative, four pilots is good fun, but. Uh, when you've got pilots like Talonbane, if you want to fly a Curax, or you've got, um, you could easily put in um, uh, put Fenro, I think we were saying, instead of a Star Viper, because he doesn't want to fly Guri. Uh, so 
I felt like there was easy improvements to make for that list. And it would definitely worry me more if he had uh, an i5 with bid or uh, an i6. And my A-Wings can't just abuse it and dance around. Um, one thing I did enjoy was flying Zuri. Uh, and it kind of makes me want, doubt which A-Wing I want to drop when I add in the um, the resistance transport. Zuri is really good fun for the blocking and the bumping and all of that. Uh, being able to just, I want to stay where I am. So I'm going to dial in the hard one and bump this ship what I'm already touching so I get my actions anyway then I can borrow all off you <sighs> as you can see um, that's why I've got coffee I'm really tired so sorry about that uh, but yeah Zari's really really good fun definitely my favorite A-wing to just fly um, Lulo going up, I still feel like Lulo's worth those points, but it's definitely uh, trickier to like, get the build I want. I just ran Lulo with Heroic, and obviously it never came into it. It was always one focus result in there. Um, Paul, Paul triggered Heroic once. That was on defense, uh, but uh, he was taking damage. Uh, Tally had him in arc. He was at, had the attacker in arc. He was at range three. There's only four evade dice with Paul. I got like three blanks and a focus, and I'm like, ah, 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 ah. It was just frustrating, and um, I I always feel like that's how it goes with that list. If I put heroic on stuff, it I I definitely feel like I see it in the other way to everyone else. I see all of the times I get screwed out of it triggering, compared to what the one time it does save you, and. I feel like, so Heroic I actually think is fine at a point, it, it's decent enough on certain ships. I, I put it on Paul and we are talking about it, so I, I thought you didn't like Heroic, so I don't, but I put it on Paul because it's Paul, and he's got to have Heroic. Like, you, what, I'm role-playing Paul, I can't do anything else. Um, so that was interesting. Um, yeah, I, think, I suppose that's it. And... Um, what else? I've got some painting I want to get done. Hopefully, if I get time tonight, I don't think we're recording tonight now. We were supposed to record this is the next episode of Whack of Focus on Wednesday because Thursday was um, Independence Day. So uh, Ed couldn't do then. Then it turned out he couldn't do Wednesday. So we're going to do tonight. But now I couldn't do tonight because of uh, something else. So we're going to try and do tomorrow. If we don't get it done tomorrow, it's it gets to be one of those really tight ones. I, I don't really want to have to do Monday nights. I've got other stuff planned as well. So hopefully, because we've not missed an episode of uh, Lack of Focus yet. I've always had some content to put out. So that's been uh, relatively, not stressful is the wrong word, but just frustrating trying to line that up for a change. Um, yeah, that's why I'm just going to wrap it up there. I don't want to babble too much longer um i'm happy with that we're under 10 minutes so it, it's fine uh thanks for watching everyone i know these videos are generally pretty indulgent of me i get to talk about what i what i've been up to and what i want and if you find it interesting please let me know let me know what you've been playing i do like uh, responding to comments and chatting with people about what they've been playing as well and yeah have a good one i'll see you on the next one